Okay, today I want to talk about designing tooltips for Roblox game development. Now, first and foremost, what is a tooltip? I am quite sure that you have all interacted with tooltips at some point, whether it's on a game, Roblox or not, or a website, you have probably used a tooltip before. Now, as you can see, the core functions are going to be, firstly, it displays information. So this could be the name, description, uh, rarity, level, perhaps. Um, if you have a bar for experience, XP, just basically anything that can really be categorized as information. Next, it is typically a hover interaction. That is how tooltips are often accessed and that is basically the whole point of it because of the third point is that it is non-intrusive so tooltips will not appear unless you purposefully uh, hover your cursor over uh, any kind of button or label that would initiate the tooltip now you can see my example here this is like an inventory uh, item tooltip it has a name rarity you will also notice at the bottom it has a nice call to action tap to equip you can also usually attach a keybind indicator to this call to action and this will make your uh, ux extremely easy to use now next what information needs to actually be uh, displayed i somewhat explain a you know a good portion of this but uh, here you can see the actual visual here we have name at the top left and you can see in the green uh, container frame there's actually two but in the innermost one you can see that it is locked at the y-axis the reason for this is because uh, for your actual text in this context you do want to lock the y-axis on the text so it cannot scale further uh, past a certain point but as for the x because there could be more text a longer name you do want to offer that space there so it can uh, extend on the x-axis we have rarity uh, on the right of the name we have description below and lastly we have the interaction which is going to be the uh, call to action basically so obviously your info uh, on your tooltip is going to vary based on your game and what your demands are and basically just what your game is going to require in terms of information that should be displayed in a uh, tooltip format okay here we have visual hierarchy so in visual hierarchy you are supposed to you are supposed to consider what needs to be emphasized and what can recede further into the background so a good example a very simple example is the name and description you can see the name is almost always uh, going to be going to be larger in font size than the description and the description is usually going to be smaller and possibly like a lower font weight you know it could be regular or even light in some in some cases but uh the color value can also be uh, slightly darker or the inverse if you're working on a white backdrop it would be a slightly lighter shade so visual hierarchy can be achieved using a combination of colors and values alongside strategic positioning of elements and components considering spatial relations via padding and margins proper hierarchy allows the most pertinent information to be accessed easily preventing the user from being overwhelmed by the other secondary and tertiary elements take a look at the example right there we have a cool interaction uh, label design we have the rarity which i have kind of uh, separated from the main content all right lastly we have componentization it's quite a long word but basically this is a visual and also a practical uh, application 
So visually, before you actually design something, uh, you want to kind of imagine the sections and the groupings of the objects and also how they relate to each other. Okay, so elements should be viewed as components where certain elements should be grouped together and identified or viewed together. The name, description, and rarity are usually grouped together. Then the item statistics and the final action slash interaction, which is separate or made visually distinct from both. All right, guys, so quick little video. Um, I just wanted to go over uh, two tips. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, leave your thoughts down below. And uh, yeah, check out our store. If you want some amazing design products for your game, check it out. Link is down below. All right, guys, until next time.